Hey guys, so as we can see, I've done my base. I'll make sure to leave a video linked up above for you guys if you'd like to check it out. Because I know some of you do like to see my foundation routine and things. But I thought I've done them in like a billion other videos that I'll just skip straight to the eyes today. Especially because it's more of like a glam eye look. So it's going to take a little bit longer. And I want to be really in depth so you guys really understand what steps to do and everything. So let's get to the eyes. Let me zoom you in. So I'm feeling for this eye look, it can be either like a more Christmas appropriate look or New Year's because of the colour, like the kind of glam appropriate level. I'm going to use a bit of glitter on the inner corner I feel like today just to spice it up a little bit and make it, like I said, more like festive appropriate. Um, but yeah, you guys can dress it down, dress it up, don't need to add glitter, add more glitter, like whatever you want to do honey, it's up to you. But first of all, I'm just going to start with a transition colour. So I just grab a shade that's a couple of shades darker than your natural skin tone. For me, I'm going to go in with the shade Made For Each Other in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And just on a fluffy crease brush, this one is the Zoeva uh, Soft Crease. I'm just applying this from outer corner and then just dragging whatever's left through the crease. Making sure to raise my eyebrows up so that I'm really applying that straight into the socket area rather than having my eyebrows relaxed and applying kind of like on the lid or too high in the crease or anything like that. I want it to like have a slight like mauve touch to it so for me I'm going to go in with my Aspen Ovard palette and grab the blush shade. I feel like that will also tie in with the cheeks because I have a bit of that blush on my cheeks as well so I'll just kind of ground the look. Uh, you have, if you guys want to keep it more neutral, then you can feel free to skip the shadow and just go straight in with the darker browns that I'll be applying next. I'm just applying it with the same brush we used before, that soft crease from Zoeva. And I'm starting from the outer corner of the eye, so just swirling that colour in the outer crease. And then dragging whatever's left through the um, upper crease area. I'm not bringing it all the way into the inner corner, I'm stopping about two thirds halfway kind of point because uh, I don't want it to close off the eyes I'm kind of going for uh, that shape <laughs> once I've got my kind of blend that I want I'm going to move on with the next shade which will be more into the brown tones I would say now so what I'm going to do is grab the Jack and Hill Morphe palette again I'm going to take butter and also mix that in with buns and I'm taking these on a petite crease brush from Zoeva. Just packing the colour on like we've done the last two shades. So starting with the outer corner, blending it through to about two thirds of the way across. And again, make sure your eyebrows are lifted so you can really slot that product into the crease area. And blend it out seamlessly. And it's still looking a little harsh, so I want to go back in with the previous shades, that more mauve tone. If you guys didn't use the mauve tone, then you can just go in with the transition shade that we used at the beginning. And then going back in with Buns and Butter, was the other shade? <gasps> Couldn't remember what it was called. I'm just placing them back in the crease to deepen it up again, because it can get blended away. Basically, with blending, guys, it's always back and forth. It's never just once through. If you want it to look really seamless and smooth and really smoky, you're just going to have to go back and forth, back and forth between shades to you build up that colour and get it nice and like, like this, uh, the transitions to be nice and soft. Going back in with that blush shade, that um, rosy tone. Uh, I'm just going to soften the edges again. Just slightly. I'm pretty happy with that so far. So I'm going to darken it up even more. So the next shades or shade I'm going to take is Central Park. And with this one, I'm just going to kind of start placing that along the lash line area and through into the outer V. And I'll open my eyes at some point just to see how it looks with the eyes open if I've got the right shape forming. And then taking butter and buns and just smoking out that deep brown. I even mixed in a bit of chip, which is like the shadow above Central Park. Just because I kind of like that um, reddish brown tone. 
just that slight tone there and it's still pretty, pretty dark um, it's still pretty dark brown so it's ties in well with what we've got going on and then back in again with buns and butter to smoke out the edges so once it's like smoked out to the desired effect which is this is my desired look I'm going to kind of clean up the inner portion of the lid and I'm just going to go in with a matte eyeshadow so I'm going to take Married Life from the Aspen Ovard palette just like a matte kind of creamy white shade and just start just kind of lightly dust that over the front portion of the eye and this is the Zoeva Luxe Classic Shader Brush oh, I love it so much because it doesn't apply it too harsh especially in that crease area because I don't want it to be like a cut crease I just want like a light little dusting of this really beautiful shade beautiful and then go back in with a bit of butter and buns and just softly like mesh the white into those into, into that deeper outer point like just very lightly now next before we go in with like the black on the outer point because I do want it to be like slightly darker on the outer portion of the eye I'm going to first of all do like a little wing along the lash line not a wing per se more just like a liquid line along the lash line just to kind of deepen up those lashes for the extravagant falsies that we're going to go in with so for that I'm going to take my hyper sharp liquid liner from Maybelline and like I said just do a little line like a thin line from inner corner to outer corner because I wanted to smoke out the outer point of the eye that's why I didn't want to do anything um, too much like I didn't want to do a wing or anything or I didn't want to do the black before I did the liquid liner I just want to like smoke out the outer point of it so I'm going to take a black eyeshadow so I'm just going to take that kind of greyish black shade from the Jaclyn palette and just place that with like a very um dense like tiny brush I'm using the Morphe M326 Pro Precision Smudge Brush then going back in with those previous brown shades and just smoking out the edges of that black and then back in with butter and buns just to softly diffuse any harsh lines and back in with that blush shade for a bit of like a brow bone highlight I'm just going to keep it matte um, I'm going in with the shade Santorini Sands and just applying that lightly to the highest point of the brow. Then for like a bit of an inner corner pop, because this is where it's getting a bit fun now, I'm going to take Brilliance and apply that just to the very inner points. For like the inner corner glitter, I'm thinking of taking this silver chunky glitter. Um, I'm not sure where I got it from, probably like eBay or something like that. So I'm just going to take some House of Lashes eyelash glue apply a little bit of that to my inner corners so I went ahead and applied lashes as well these are the A these are the sultry lashes from Anitude I just wanted something really extravagant and super fluffy plus you can see they're a bit shorter on the inner corner and longer on the outer corner so they complement that eye shape that I wanted to kind of go with um, and as you can see, like the glitter just looks so flipping good with these colours. Like, oh, I love this look. <sighs> and I also went ahead and applied some black eye coal in my tight line. And I'm going, ahead, I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my bottom waterline as well. And I'm just dragging a smidge bit of that under the bottom lash line, just on the outer point of the eye. And I'm just going in with a black eyeshadow and just applying that along the eye coal on the bottom lash line just where we, where we smudged it underneath. And I'm just keeping it focused on the outer point of the eye just along here. I don't want to bring it all the way in because the outer point of the eye here is quite dark and I can just smudge it out in a little bit. But yeah, I just smudged it along the bottom lash line. Um, so next I'm going to grab a brown shadow. Next I'm going to take chip. Um, from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's like, a, it's like that ready brown shade that I liked before that I used on the outer corner with um, Central Park. But this time I'm just taking chip and I'm just smudging that along that black area. And for the final touch to the bottom lash line I'm going to take some of Butter and Made for each other. I'm just going to smudge that all the way from outer corner to inner corner just to smoke out those edges a little bit so it's not so like 
harsh. I want those, like that bottom lash line to be just as smoky as the top. Oh, that looks so nice. So finally I'm just going to apply a bit of bottom lash mascara to my eyes. You can make it pretty dark guys and heavy on the bottom lashes because we have such a dark uh, smoky bottom lash line. You want those lashes to peek through that. And that is the eyes are thinnest, finissimal. So for lips, I'm going to keep it nude. I know it's like super festive season. You can go red or you can go with like a deep vampy colour for like New Year's or something, which would look so nice by the way. Like oh, like a vibrant, whiny, like glossy red. Mm. Delicious. But I'm going to keep it nude. Give it like a glossy nude though. So I'm going to first of all <laughs> line my lips with my brown nude, my brown nude liner. My brown eye coal from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso. And I'm going to go over top with my Pale Plethora Liquid Lipstick from Zoeva. It's like a pinky nude. I freaking love it so much. And then I went over top with my lip gloss from Bonjour's Paris in the shade Rose Romantic. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look today. It's on this like very New Year's Eve-y, I would say more so. Or you could wear this on Christmas. Like I said, it depends when I get this video up. Hopefully I get it up on Christmas Eve before Christmas so you guys have the option to wear it. Or at least prep time before New Year's. We'll see how we go. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And subscribe down below to my YouTube Bam Bam. I'd love to see you guys in my next tutorial. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.